Stem cells are uh, the cells from which all the cells in our body are eventually uh, derived from, and they have uh, the capacity to differentiate to a variety of different cell types in early stages. So, some uh, the bone bone is differentiated from stem cells. Uh, cartilage may uh, be differentiated from stem cells. The cells in our blood, the circulate in our blood, come initially from stem cells. And the very early stem cells have really the capacity to differentiate into any tissue. And as the stem cells become a little bit more differentiated, they have the capacity to lead to the formation of different tissues and organs. So we have been interested in cardiovascular disease in lupus, and we have found that there is a subset of progenitor cells called the endothelial progenitor cells, which lead to the formation of uh, uh, blood vessels and, and the repair of blood vessels that are quite impaired in lupus patients. So we have been trying to characterize the mechanisms by which these progenitor cells are dysfunctional, do not function properly, and whether this may be a key factor in the development of atherosclerosis in lupus patients. And we have found that interferon alpha, which is a substance that is elevated in lupus patients, appears to impair significantly the function of these progenitor endothelial progenitor cells. So um, our work with the, uh, that was funded by the Lupus uh, Foundation of America, uh, and without their support we wouldn't have been able to perform this work, was to try to characterize how interferon alpha affects these endothelial progenitor cells. So, and by understanding how this happens, we, we hope that we would be able to abrogate any dysfunction that is triggered by uh, abnormal levels of, of interferon alpha. So we, we actually recently characterized that interferon alpha leads to a very potent inhibition of several molecules that are very important for the function of these cells in their capacity to differentiate into these endothelial cells that line the blood vessels of, uh, of our bodies. And, and when this phenomenon happens, then if there is damage to these blood vessels, then there is not sufficient capacity for these progenitors to go to the damaged blood vessel, repair it, and therefore prevent progression of uh, cardiovascular damage and the development of heart attacks, strokes, and other complications. I think it's our hope, especially now that there are new um, phase one and two trials uh, ongoing regarding uh, anti-interferon therapies, for example, that uh, a very important thing to, to, to see when if these trials are successful and prove to be safe is not only whether lupus patients will feel better and their disease activity will improve, but also whether by blocking interferon alpha function, we will be able to decrease this abnormality in the progenitor cells that lead to blood vessel repair and therefore mitigate or, or, or retire or even halt the progression of uh, atherosclerosis. So I think that there is hope that, that these therapies may uh, lead to some uh, improvements in cardiovascular prevention and also several of the molecules we identify that are uh, changed by interferon alpha uh, may potentially be amenable to either blockade or uh, uh, use of these uh, substances as uh, compounds to restore the lost function of these cells. What we want to take this next is to confirm our hypothesis in animal models, which is an ongoing work, but also in uh, clinical trials uh, that are targeting some of the molecules we have uh, uh, identified as potential culprits in uh, organ damage. Mm -hmm.